<laughs> okay guys, quick one today as usual, we've been doing a lot of quick ones. We're at the Death Ray Cat channel by the way. I like to do a lot of cramps lessons, show you how to play the cramps. Here's another one, I've had a request. It's called How Far Can Too Far Go? I'm just going to show you one riff, it moves around with the chords. It's going to go like this. It's kind of a little trickier than it sounds. So we're in the key of C, so we're going to find the C. There's your C on the, the low E string there. And we're working around this major chord. But what we're going to do to make this easy, we're just going to use the top half of this major chord. We're going to occasionally use our little finger here. What we're going to do here, we're going to slightly bar the top two strings here. You're going to flatten your first finger down on the E string and the B string on the 8th fret. Middle finger is going on the 9th fret on the G string there. And your ring finger is going on the 10th fret on the D string there. So there's your little mini bar chord. Now you could just sit and whack this all the way through the tune. And there's some live footage of Poison Ivy, she's just playing the full chord. Later on in the tune when it gets a little wilder. So that's an option there. You could even just play a power chord through. As long as you got this rhythm and you're in time, it kind of works, it's fine. But yeah, we're going to go for this. Your first hit, we're going to aim for the lowest part of this chord, so I'm going to aim for the D string there. And if I hit the next string up, the G, that's cool, that's fine. Then, so this is all with a downstroke there. Then I'm going to do another downstroke for my next hit, and an upstroke. So once I've done the down and upstroke there with the, the rest of the chord and playing the top few strings or all of them if you want, I'm going to do the same but my little finger is going to come down onto the B string on the 10th fret there. So I'm going to add it here. As you can see your right hand is going up and down, up and down. It's not kind of stopping that rhythm. The only thing that changes is when you hit no strings. So I'm going to play it real slow and just have a look and see if you can see what's going on. By the way, my thumb's kind of creeping over here a little bit as well. And that's resting on the C, which is the seventh fret there. So that's just another way of playing that full bar chord, nearly full. Hopefully that helps, right? So. There you've got the C chord for that song, which it stays on there for a long time. And then eventually later on, we do that exact same shape, but we're going to move it down to the first fret because we're playing an F. And back to the C. Then we're going to move it to the 3rd fret to make it a G chord. Back to F. And then back to C. And it's as simple as that, so you can play the whole tune like that. There's a solo in there, I'm going to explore that in the Patreon. Uh, I'll have the tabs for this in my Patreon and also the backing track, you can get that there. Go follow the links below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.